feels earlier than it is. I guess that's another way to say it. I'm kind of tired, but I slept well. It's almost like I am so not used to sleeping well that now it's overwhelming. Oh. Sorry, that was a little raccoon that got hit. I love raccoons. Rest its little soul. I digress. Um, yeah, I, I just think that now my body's not used to actually getting enough sleep, but it's, it doesn't know what to do with it, and it just kind of put it, like, stuffed the sleep into a junk drawer instead of actually filing it away in the rest folder. Because I guess it just it just lost the standard operating procedure for what to do with sleep points, and I, I really need it to get it together because I I achieved I got enough sleep last night and I actually like went to sleep. I wasn't just sitting around kind of awake for hours. Like, what usually happens. Oh god, now I get to see who keeps taking my spot as the nastiest looking car. I've never seen her before. It's hard to do things, and I had ideas for what to talk about. Um, I do want to uh, ask for your condolences because I lost my pens, my favorite pens. I had already had one, like there's two of the same pens, and I used one up. And then I had the second pen, and it was just, it was me and the second pen, you know? And then that has now died yesterday. And none of the other pens write the same way, and <laughs> you're just like, this girl is pathetic, just go buy the pens. You know, that would be nice, except for the fact that these pens were like... They're like promo pens that were a gift from a new, like, I don't know, this business that's like semi-related to my business came by and was just like, hey, we just opened up in town and if you have like clients that you can like refer to us, we'd love that. Uh, here's some swag. And there were pens, and you know, branded pens, like whatever, man. But I used it, and I was just like, holy shit, this is like the best pen. I love this pen. I love them more than the pens that I designated as my pens. My pens, my pens, my pens. Like, I've had like a whole thing about this one girl that worked for us that stole one of my pens, announced that she was going to steal my pen and stole it. And I had to get it back at the end of the day after she left because you just don't do certain things. And stealing pens is one of those things. Like my background is in food service and you know what you don't do? Steal the chef's Sharpie. You give it back. You have your own Sharpie. If you don't have your own Sharpie, just suffer for the day and go get some later. You just don't with people's writing utensils. You just don't. Like, I don't, this is like from like childhood on. You know those freaking idiots that never came prepared to school and they'd ask to use your sh and then they'd bite 
on the pen cap? It's so f***ing wrong. And then would be like, oh yeah, thanks for letting me buy Keep it! Or they'd lose the cap. And I just wanted to pummel people so badly. And then the kids that just like have no concept of their own shit and keeping it nice because they don't have their own and then they'll use your shit, like the markers and they would just color over some dark color with yellow now the yellow was ruined forever what is wrong with you why would you do that if this was your box of markers you wouldn't do that so why is it okay with my stuff? Because you have no respect for other people's things. And I was being nice and now I'm being punished for it. That's some bull****. Get your own stuff. I understand I might have some deep seated drama about stationery. I I, I I I like things very specific and I like my pens and I'm a writer and you just don't don't <laughs> just be unprepared you're not getting me ask someone else ask someone who doesn't give a f I just I used to have oh my god serving I used to have so many ways of making sure customers did not steal my pens like if you have multiple like people that like split a bill at a table you bring back all the checks and you just put one pen do not ever give them multiple pens no they can just wait their turn to sign off on theirs like that keeps everyone in cap like accountable where they were just like hey where's the pen and then they leave the pen because they never know if everyone's done signing and it stays on the table and you get your pen back. But I would have my pens for doing my serving things and then customer pens that were dear. And if I lost them, I wouldn't feel as bad. It very, no. And then other servers could borrow the customer pens. They could never touch my server pens. So I really like these pens. I've been thinking about them since the last one died. <laughs> there are other pens in the office because they gave us enough for everybody. So everyone was dispersed these pens and I know nobody cares enough about the pens as much as I do, but I cannot break like, that's just a law I cannot break. I cannot steal someone else's pens. You know, like, do unto others. I can't do it. But, God, I just... I really... I, I just... I just look at the pens in their little pen thing. And I'm just like, you're just not as appreciated here as you would be in my office. You should just come with me. But I won't take it. I won't do it. But... It's not a business that I could just walk into and be like, yo, I really like your pens. Can I have some more? They'd be like, who the f are you? And what are you talking about? We do MRIs. We are an MRI facility. We do radiology. Why are you obsessing over some pens with our names on it? Should I? <laughs> Should I try? It's just, I, I really like your pens. Can I please just, where did you, where did you order your pens? Did you order them? Is this a national thing? Is there a standard? I just want to know. Because I would get my own branded pens just to have that pen. And it's driving me crazy. Am I going, but how crazy is it driving me? Am I actually going to go there? Am I actually going to go <laughs> I am in crisis. I have a dilemma and I don't know if it's worth solving or if I should just move on and go find some other pens that I really, really like. But this will always be in the back of my mind if I don't do something about it. Jesus Christ, I don't know. Ciao for now.